my fight fans so we got ourselves a little bit hot topic going on right now we got ourselves is canelo alvarez the top 10 one of the top 10 best mexican fighters of all time my question to you guys i will wait well you know what let me give you an answer for myself i say yes I say yes, not just saying because I'm a Canelo Alvarez fan. I am a big time Canelo Alvarez fan. I definitely follow his career. I followed him ever since he fought Carlos Baltimore. I followed Joe Gomez, Austin Trout, Josito Lopez. I fought him since the very beginning, even with when he fought uh, Matthew Hatton and um, what was it, Jose Cotto? I want to say Miguel Cotto's brother. I've, I've seen it. I've seen it, a large portion of his fights. But at the end of the day, I do strongly feel that Saul Canelo Alvarez is by far top 10 greatest of all time when it comes to Mexican fighters. I know there's other uh, um, people out there who get in the, letting their opinions know and uh, be known and such like that. But I'm sorry, my personal opinion is he is. Because at the end of the day, who did Canelo Alvarez did not face? He has faced everybody. He has faced the who's who. He has faced every single person in that division. And he's always wanted to face other people. I remember at the time when he was trying to get a fight with Victor Ortiz, but he lost to Josito Lopez. He was trying to get a fight with Miguel Cotto in the earlier career, but he lost to Austin Trout. He was trying to get a fight with Paul Williams, but unfortunately, Paul Williams had that unfortunate accident that left him paralyzed. You know, so trust me, Canelo Alvarez is always and never really ducked anybody. And I say never really because I know there's all this controversial about Triple G and how he made him wait after the third fight or for that third fight. But at the end of the day, he still fought him. He still fought him in that first fight. Maybe it wasn't as soon as we all wanted it to be, but it's definitely, it still was there. It was relatively there because at the end of the day, Triple G wasn't a big superstar at that time. You know, when the earlier times, when we wanted him to go out there, when he first won that middleweight championship of the world against Miguel Cotto, we wanted him right then and there to go against Triple G. I'm sorry, but Triple G wasn't that big mega star. He definitely was building up some interest, but he really wasn't that super big star just yet. And Canelo Alvarez was starting to fill out into a more of a middleweight. He was taking that little by little, taking it slowly. You don't want to just go in there to the start, start swimming in the deep end when you haven't really began swimming in that little area that you were in. You haven't really, you haven't really felt that division just yet. You know, at the end of the day, yeah, I get it. Miguel Cotto was a smaller middleweight, but at the end of the day, he still went up there and he did his thing. And it took a little time to do it, but it still happened. And he did it twice. And he did it a third time. Did he make him wait a third time? Absolutely. Absolutely. But here's the thing I want to ask you guys, and here's the thing I want to tell you guys. Name one fighter that has never, ever made some other fighter wait. Name one. I promise you. All your favorites. All the goats. All the pound-for-pound pound best. Muhammad Ali, Sugar Ray Leonard, Sugar Ray Robertson, Manny Pacquiao, Floyd Mayweather, Oscar Del Hoyer, Bernard Hopkins, Roy Jones. Every single person has made some fighter wait at one time or another. So you cannot say that, oh, well, he's not great because he made these guys wait or he did not fight them when we wanted to fight them. He, when, when we wanted him to fight them. I promise you guys, you name that fighter, they made them wait. Or they fought him too soon. Or they fought him too late. It don't matter. If you don't, I promise you, do not give me a list. Do not give me a fighter. And I promise you, all of them did not fight anybody at the perfect time. And then sometimes, it wasn't because they didn't want to. It was because maybe that's the way things lined it up. Maybe it was because things just happened to be that way. Maybe because this person lost or this person won. Or may, it just, there's always some unusual circumstances that makes these fighters um, not fight each other at the right time at the right place. If you're lucky, we do get that. If we're lucky, we do get those great fights. And we do get those fighters that actually choose to fight each other at the right time, at the right place, when they're both at their best. Not when one of them is on their downfall. But, unfortunately, there's a lot of reasons why that does not happen. And that does not come to fruition. But Canelo Alvarez, yeah, did he make him wait um, for that first fight? Maybe a little bit. But then he did not make him wait for that second fight. Yes, I know, he lost. The, Canelo Alvarez doesn't control that. Canelo Alvarez doesn't control the fact that, you know, what the judges say. At the end of the day, he, that he did his job. He went and did his thing. That's, that's his job. He went in there to fight. Whatever the judges say and make happen, that's their problem. But Canelo Alvarez went in for a rematch. He could have said, hey, you know what? That's cool. I'm going to draw. But no, he went in there for a rematch. Now, a lot of people say he felt like he lost. But then a lot of people felt like he won. I felt like he won. Absolutely, 100%. And then a lot of people say that, oh, well, he gave a lackluster performance against Triple G the third fight. He should have knocked him out. I'm sorry, guys. But there's no other fighter out there in the world that's been able to even drop Triple G. There's no other fighter out there in the world that's been able to hurt Triple G. Triple G is just that kind of fighter. There's fighters out there that are just that really, that are just that difficult to beat. That just don't show no sign of weakness. 
And unfortunately, Triple G has ha has that kind of mentality, has that kind of strength, has that kind of fighting ability, where it's just it's so hard to hurt him. It's so hard to put him down. He's never been put down, and it's just so hard to beat him. So unfortunately, you know what? At the end of the day, me, my personal opinion is um, Canelo is, is actually one of the best of all time in the Mexican uh, uh I guess whatever you could say. Better, top 10 greatest Mexican of all time um, when it comes to boxing. 100%. Top 10, uh, maybe, I want to say probably even put him 5. Of course, we all know number 1, Julio Cesar Chavez, 100%. 100%, you cannot deny that guy. Cannot deny him 100%. Juan um, Manuel Marquez, uh, Marco Antonio Barrera, Eric Morales. There's a lot of great Mexican fighters out there, but 100% Canelo Alvarez deserves to be on that list. Do I know where? 100% do not. I do not. But at the end of the day, he definitely deserves. So guys, let me know in the comments on what do you think about Canelo Alvarez being on the top 10 greatest Mexican fighters of all time. Let me know, guys. Like, subscribe, hit that notification button, and I'll see you guys in the next video.